Barrett in Pennsylvania writes to me and he says, Paul, I'm trying to find out how the negative portion of an audio wave is sampled to be converted into a digital. Negative one doesn't exist in digital, so is the whole signal DC biased, so the highest possible positive alter, uh, alternation and the lowest possible negative alternation fit within a window of positive only voltage changes so that the sampling can be completed that way? I've been curious about this for a while and didn't have any luck finding information on it. Yes, you are correct, Barrett. So basically, you're right. There is no negative numbers. Well, there is, but that's an interpretation. Because you know computers can do math and they can do negative numbers. But again, it's all in the translation, if you will. So yeah, what we basically do is um, we just change the reference point from zero to where you go plus and then minus from zero. It, it, we just take the zero point, go down here, simple. And then the, the, the negative is the lowest that it's gonna go in. So it's just one big sine wave. And that gets converted over to numbers. Really, really quite simple. Now you, you totally nailed it, totally understood it. Um, and then when we play it back, we center everything back down so that there's zero volts and then negative and then positive. And a lot of that has to do with your power supply. If you have a single-ended power supply where you just have plus 12 and zero, the same thing happens, right? That you, and, that, and that requires you to capacitor couple that signal. Uh, I, I think we've talked about this before. So like our equipment, whether it's here in Octave Studios or the equipment that PS Audio designs and builds, those are all direct coupled. We don't use coupling capacitors because we don't like them. We don't like the way they sound because they do add a sound to it, right? But in many cases, well, you know what? I just, I just lied. I just said something wrong because we use all manly vacuum tube amplifiers for our preamps, all these microphones all go through manly vacuum tubes and those are all cap coupled because a vacuum tube uh, isn't complementary. There are no, there's no such thing as a negative vacuum tube, right? So everything is sitting just like you had described, right? The zero point is half the voltage. So there you got cu coupling capacitors. So ignore what I just said, but PS Audio products that we build here are all direct coupled. And that's where we use a power supply that has positive and negative voltage. And ground is zero, halfway between the two. It goes up, goes down, and then we can direct couple. But if you only have one supply and the signal is going between it, then you got a cap couple. Okay, hope that helps. Thanks. Oh, and by the way, I get a lot of questions from people like, your studio is so cool. How do I get in? And we've had quite a number of people inquiring about that. You can come use Octave Studios if you're a musician that's any good. If you send us uh, a sample and we like what you do, we'll record you for free. We just did a fabulous, uh, Tyler Burba. The guy is amazing. And he came up, he heard about this offer. Come on up and we'll do you for free. He spent a week here. He flew in from New York. His buddies come from New Orleans and uh, Minneapolis, and they put together a fabulous record here in Octave Studios. And uh, Tyler paid for his trip, of course, but we paid for all the studio time. We're going to produce an SACD at our expense. And the only thing that we ask, uh, you can go to Octave, octavestudios.com and get the whole lowdown. The only thing we, or octaverecords.com, the only thing we ask is that in order to recoup our expenses, because this place ain't cheap, let me tell you, um, we, we ask that we, you let us release your music on Octave Records. We sell, I don't know how many, I think 300 copies or something, and then we're whole. And you get the master tapes, you go away and do all, whatever you want. You can stream it, you can do whatever you want. So it's a pretty good deal. And it's a cool studio, and it's fun to be here, so... All right, enough. I got to go. Talk to you later. Bye.